There is half a leftover pizza. Two people decide they're going to share it for a snack. How much of the whole pizza is each person going to get? Let's start by actually cutting our pizza. If we cut our pizza equally amongst two people, we can see that each person is going to get one fourth of the whole pizza. We could also solve this as a division problem. When we divide, our dividend tells us how much we have, which is half a pizza. Our divisor tells us how we're going to share it, which is with two people. So this means we're solving one half a pizza divided by two people. Too often when we divide, we tend to rely on the large number coming first. That's not always going to be the case. In this case, if we had set it up as two divided by one half, we would be sharing two people amongst half a pizza. That doesn't make sense, so we're dividing half a pizza amongst two people. In order to solve one half divided by two, I need to change my division problem to a multiplication. When I do that, my dividend of one half stays the same. My division problem becomes multiplication. In order to take the reciprocal of my divisor, I first need to make it into a fraction. Two becomes two over one, and then I can take the reciprocal of it, which is one half. This means we're solving one half times one half. Now we can follow our rules for fraction multiplication. Multiplying our numerators, one times one gives us one. Multiplying our denominators, two times two gives us four. This means whether we set it up by actually cutting pizza or solving the division problem, each person gets one fourth of the whole pizza. If I'm gonna focus on solving three fifths divided by six, the first thing we need to do is take our six and turn it into a fraction. We can do that by putting it over a denominator of one. Now we can focus on solving three fifths divided by six over one. To do that, our dividend of three fifths is going to stay the same. Our division sign is gonna to change to a multiplication sign and we need to take the reciprocal of six over one, which is one six. Now we can focus on following our multiplying fraction rules. When we multiply our numerator, together, three times one gives us three. Multiplying our denominators, five times six gives us 30. Three over 30 isn't in lowest terms, so we're going to have to simplify. Three is the greatest common factor of three and 30, so I can divide both the numerator and the denominator by three. Three divided by three gives me one. 30 divided by three gives me 10. So in lowest terms, our solution comes out to be one tenth.